trying to figure out how to install your Starlight Instruments Feather Touch Focuser on your Lunt 40 millimeter dedicated hydrogen alpha solar telescope? Let me show you how I did it. Hi, my name is Eric. I'm an amateur astrophotographer and let's explore on how to do this. The Lunt 40 millimeter solar telescope comes with a non-rotating helical focuser. This focuser has 10 millimeters of precision travel, a brass compression ring for protection of your eyepieces, and a locking collar. When I purchased my solar telescope, I upgraded the focuser to the 1.25 inch feather touch focuser, and I'm glad I did. The feather touch focuser allows me to fine tune my telescope with ease, while either viewing the sun through an eyepiece or imaging it with my astrophotography cameras. There are many times I'm underneath a blanket to shield myself from the sun to look at my computer. So while doing this, I can reach out to my feather touch focuser and adjust the knobs while examining the live image of the sun on my laptop. Or I can use an app on my phone. Now on how to install your Starlight Instruments feather touch focuser. First, I'm going to remove any cameras, eyepieces, diagonals from my telescope. And make sure that you cover the ends of your cameras, your diagonals, and even the draw tube of your solar telescope. Next, while holding firmly onto your telescope with a firm grip on this non-rotating helical focuser, you're going to turn it counterclockwise. And it can be a little tight, but eventually it will come off. I'm going to go ahead and set my tube right here because I don't want any dust to get inside of the draw tube. And here is the focuser. See, it looks like they might have had a little bit of glue on these threads. So I'm going to place this over to the side. Once the old helical focuser has been removed, you're now ready to install your brand new Starlight Instruments Feather Touch Focuser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the draw tube and initially I am going to place it into the T2 threads and turn it counterclockwise because I don't want to make sure I get this on incorrectly. I just felt it skip on one of the threads. So now I'm going to turn it clockwise. Now if it starts feeling tight or anything unusual, I'm going to stop and unscrew it and try it again. I'm going to keep turning this until this focuser is on tight onto the draw tube. Next, I'm going to replace my diagonal back on the draw tube at the end of the feather touch focuser. Set this down and make sure that this is nice and tight and it does not flop over. And that is it. There is a screw here to keep the focus tight. So if you want to put some tension on the uh, focus knobs or just completely have it loose, you can turn that screw set right there. Next, I'll replace my imaging camera at the end of that diagonal. and tighten these screws as well. And that's it. Your Lunt 40 millimeter dedicated hydrogen alpha solar telescope is ready to view all the action that's on the sun. If you're still having problems with the installation of your focuser, be sure to reach out to Lunt Solar Systems. I have many other videos on this telescope and solar imaging on my website. Be sure to check that out. Until next time, clear and sunny skies.